Hey sketchy friends, so in today's video I thought I would show you my cat. No, I'm only joking. I am going to show you how I film videos overhead. I have been asked before about this, so I thought I should actually probably just get on with this and do it. So apologies in advance, I'm not one of those YouTubers with picture perfect studio where everything's really neat and tidy. I am not too bad right now, but I'll be honest, I have spent about an hour tidying up <laughs> to do this video and this is as good as I can get. So we'll just have to deal with it. So as you can see, this is my room. I'm just going to back out a bit. So this is where I record any videos where I'm sort of doing top down shooting and, and working from photos and teaching that way. So the first thing is this uh, stand here and it's actually a photographic backdrop stand. So it's got tripod legs and then it's got this crossbar here and then another stand here. So that goes across my very large desk, which is actually one of those stand up desks. It's got this like electronic control here, which is super cool. I'll be honest, I don't use it as much as I should, but yesterday I did stand up all day um, at it, which was actually really nice. So it's just a photographic backdrop stand. It was pretty cheap, like in the grand scheme of things, it cost about 50 British pounds, which is probably, I don't know, 60 US dollars, something like that. It didn't come with a backdrop or anything like that. There were other options that came with a backdrop, but obviously didn't need that. So I didn't want to buy one with that. So it's okay, you know, it's a, it can be a bit wobbly because it only just is wide enough for my desk. It did come with extra crossbars, but if I add one more onto it, then it just makes it too long for this room. So yeah, these two just about fit. On this uh, backdrop mount, I have got something which is called a small rig. Let me find the, the name of it here somewhere. Small rig uh, clamp, camera clamp, and it's got a quarter inch socket uh, and a three eighths of an inch socket. So you've got the flexibility there. And then I've got this, I bought this ball, ball joint thing which literally just screws into the clamp and I'll, I'll put all the links to this below. I bought it on our version of Amazon which is called Take A Lot but you can find all these things on Amazon as well. So they, there's two separate things, the clamp and then this ball joint thing that screws into the clamp and as the name suggests it's on a ball so you can angle the camera at any um, direction you need. This is a Sony ZV-E10 you can change the lens on here, but to be honest, I'm just using the kit lens. The thing that attracted me to this camera when I was looking for a camera, this one had just come out. And the thing that attracted to me, me to it the most is that you can do unlimited filming. So before that, I had the Canon G7X. But it only films for, um, my memory's bad here, it either films for 15 minutes or 30 minutes before it switches itself off. Um, which, as you can imagine, in the middle of like maybe a two hour drawing session is really annoying, especially if you don't notice and then you realize that you haven't been filming this whole time. And then I've got these lights with, um, they're LED lights and they came with these soft boxes. So, and they came with the, the stands as well, which again is just like a normal tripod stand. Got two of them together in a pack. And again, they're about 50 pounds, so they're sort of cheapish ones, but they do the job for what I need, which is to get nice white light onto the surface. This is just one of these crafting mats. Uh, I have been filming on my desktop for a long time, but actually it's much nicer to have a dark surface because it just contrasts with the sketchbook page a lot nicer. So it is just one of those, you know, those cutting mats. It's just the other way up. So I only started using that recently and it's just so much better, just so much nicer. Right now I'm filming this on my phone here. Again, very cheap microphone by Fifth Fine. We're like $70, um, but the, the sound quality is really good. Um, and it's just a USB microphone. This part is just to go into my Mac because they don't have 
USB inputs. <laughs> so yeah, it's, um, it's really good. And I just record straight into GarageBand. Uh, this ring light is for something else. That's for tattooing. So I don't use that for filming. So that's basically my setup for filming at my desk. Now I'll show you how I film on location. So I'm just going to switch cameras to show you that. Okay, so this is what I use for sketching on location. So again, this is a, something I found online on our version of uh, Amazon, which is called Take A Lot. But I'm pretty sure you can get this on Amazon as well. I'll find a link for you guys. And it's basically a tripod. that allows you to film overhead. So it has a horizontal arm. And this is really high quality. Like I was really pleasantly surprised when I received this. So this is by K and F, I think. So this arm comes up here and then it swings over like that. So that's what makes it really cool. So you can extend these legs so they're much taller and you can get over your sketchbook. So let me just show you the camera on it. So it comes with this plate, like a normal plate that you put on a tripod. And you just screw that into the bottom of the camera here. Just like you would with a normal tripod. And then here we go in and screw it, screw it in. And in that way, you can film your sketchbook. So you can obviously angle it wherever you need. Again, these legs come up, so it's much taller. This is on a ball joint as well. So you can move it wherever you want. And yeah, that's currently how I record my videos on location. The only other thing that I have started using recently is some wireless microphones. Um, so I'm using the DJI versions. I've got one uh, connected to my phone right now and one on my jumper right now. Um, but you can actually record, you can connect it to this camera as well. And you can actually record without like directly onto the unit itself as well. So it's pretty cool. Um, so I'm just kind of playing around with those at the moment. And then in terms of the bits and pieces I showed you, this is the Harley Davidson I want right now. <laughs> so I'll put the links below to these, but that's the small rig. That's the backdrop stand. I'll find something similar on Amazon. Those are the lights. Find something similar on Amazon. You just must do your own research though, but so I'll, I'll do something that's equivalent to what I've got. But you know, I'm just recording YouTube videos. I'm not doing anything too fancy, so I really don't need to go too over the top with special equipment. Uh, this is the mini ball head that I showed you. And then this is the tripod. So this was about 150 pounds, so I guess 200 US dollars, um, but really great for shooting on location. It is a bit cumbersome. You know, I did take this to New Zealand with me to film and it was a bit cumbersome taking it in my suitcase and everything. Um, I am cu currently considering a more portable way of sketching, of filming sketching on location, but yeah, I'll, f I'll fill you guys in when I do that. So I hope this has been useful for you. And yeah, any questions at all, just let me know.